Hello everybody, today I'm going to react on an act that was done in Penn and Teller's Ula series and I'm really excited to react together with you to this video and without further ado let's get started and jump right into this exciting act by Kostya Kimilat. A business focused magician right. specializing in sleight of hand magic. My company trains and books magicians around the world for all kinds of corporate events. Over the years, I started to see the connections between the art of magic and the craft of business. So, uh, first of all, if you don't know the Fula series, um, it's a series where Penn and Teller, some pretty famous magicians, uh, go ahead and watch acts by other magicians and these are trying to fool them so are trying to do a trick that Penn and Teller don't can't can't understand how it's done and if they do so they get to perform in Penn and Teller's uh, live show so yeah and at the beginning they just um, tell something about the magician that's going to perform an act on the show and yeah that's what's happening at the moment. Just like a magic trick happens in the customer's mind, it's all about perception. And that means human interaction. How do we communicate? Those are the real secrets of magic. Great magic doesn't strive to fool you so that you believe in something. Great magic reminds you to be careful about what you believe in. And that's why it can be so helpful to think like a magician. I think this is uh, quite an old episode because in the newer ones, uh, the moderator for the show is, I think, Alison Hannigan or something. Uh, I just know her out of the TV series um, How I Met Your Mother because there she's playing Lily. And yeah, uh, I think it's quite funny because he was, I don't know what's, what his name is, but he was the moderator for the older um, episodes of Fool Us, but I think he's doing really great as well. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. Businessmen to think like a magician, like they need any help in making people's money disappear. Will you please welcome Kostya Kimlacht. Thank you very, very much. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with all of you in the theater and everyone watching at home. Okay, and card guy. Teller, I'd like to show you something special using a pack of playing cards. Will you please join me so you can watch closely? Everyone welcome Penn and Teller. So close up card magician. So nice, so nice. Really nice. So please have a seat, relax. In a moment, you're going to help me shuffle these cards. Now, I found that how people shuffle cards depends on which part of the world they've come from. Now, we have 52 playing cards. We've taken the jokers out. Now, I don't know if you right. have a preferred way of shuffling the cards, but I'd like to give you about half the cards. And I'd like you to mix those up as much as you like. And, and you can mix them up too. Maybe you can help me do this. Can you wash them here on the table like this? Yeah. Now, the hardest part, of course, is collecting all those cards. So we're going to square all of these cards up. And uh, you feel those are pretty well shuffled for yourself as well? Thank you, Teller. I'm going to spread these face up. And then I'm going to do kind of a, a crazy shuffle, okay? I'm going to turn these face down. Okay. And I'm going to shuffle them together. But before I push them in, I want you to see the state. That's a really great shuffle, actually. Did you see how, how he did just a uh, regular, like, regular, what is it called? Regular riffle shuffle. And almost like this. And almost every card is one by one. That's just like, I don't know, that's... That's crazy good. I mean, he messed up a little bit at the top, but I don't know if that was intentional or not. But yeah, that's like actually a really crazy good shuffle. Just something I, I, uh, I figured while watching this. I want you to see the state that they're in. All right, very well mixed up. And then tell her if you would take your hand and place it like this for me, if you would. Yeah. And then can you place your hand, place it above, and press the cards together. That way you don't really see them, and all the way down the line, you actually feel them being shuffled. And all the way, all the way, working so effortlessly as you do together. Awesome. Such a team. You are. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Perfect shuffle. You should see a shampoo together. <laughs> now look, would you agree that's really, really great? Well mixed? Yeah, I would. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. Now, now I'll say this. There is only one other shuffle that mixes the cards in a more thorough way. And this is a shuffle that is preferred by children and drunks. <laughs> like that. Okay? Now, who even drops them on the floor? It doesn't matter. 
The cars are completely mixed up. In fact, why don't you guys get in there? Feel like a kid again. I want you to go ahead, turn them over, mix up, face up, face down, do whatever you like. Give them a nice little mix. You feel pretty good about that? Actually, it's starting to make me feel worse and worse. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, cool. So we'll collect them. That's fine. That's perfect. What I'm in the world? Get the cards together. And gentlemen, this is my favorite part. Even though the cards have been thoroughly mixed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I really know what uh, Penn is. I think I really know what Penn is thinking at this moment. He's like, what the hell? I mean, he's going to do something magical with his cards in a second. We all know that. And these are like really, really mixed up. There's just no way he could manipulate that. Break your hands. No, 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 no. Even though they're mixed, I'm going to find your two cards, which is really impressive because you haven't even picked them yet. That's true. But I guess I'm going to shuffle. Okay, so, so let's do this here. I'll go through here, face up or face down. Here's what I like to do. Reach in there and grab one out, face up or face down. Oh, it's your choice. It's absolutely your choice. Face up, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I got it. <laughs> Truthfully, it doesn't matter what the card is. If I know it, it's okay. I what matters it. is which way you take it out. So would you please reach in there and take another one for me, if you would? And you've got another one. Card Face up. up. Very nice. With three clubs. I love yeah. it. So now, gentlemen, uh, you can put the card back in. You remembered it. You showed it to the camera. You can put it back in any way you like, face up or face down. It's completely up to you. Yeah, slide it in there. Absolutely. So you see it going in. And which way? Do you want to put it back in face up I'm or face down? Great. Slide it right in there for me, if you would. So look, we'll even leave it sticking out so you see it there up until the very last moment. Now look, at this point, some cards are face up, some cards are face oh. down. Look, I'm not even... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if I let them sit there, they start to move all on their own. That's great. They start to turn over, so now every card is facing the right way. <laughs> that is so every great. Every card is now face up. Oh, I love it. Except for one. Except for two, the only two. And what the frick? What in the world? <laughs> what? I mean, he had like those two crazy good magicians sitting next to him, like close up, like really close, like 20 centimeters, and he did that, like. What? How? <laughs> He's like so mad. We've got a rough idea how this might be heading, but come and join me around the front. Thank you. Let the guys sit down. Ladies and gentlemen, how spectacular was that? What a great act. And you know, who doesn't love to see Penn pissed off like that? I mean, that's a. He's in a terrible mood now, but you, that was really quite special indeed. Um, this trick, is this one that you've come up with? Or yes, is it is. Okay, absolutely. So. Yeah, you know, some magicians, uh, we create the magic. That's what we love to do. So absolutely. So really, the chance of them getting this, uh, certainly, if they do, it will be having seen it for this first time, not knowing similar tricks in the past. Absolutely right. Now, I'm hoping that you will be back here on stage performing with them. Would that mean a lot to you? Are you a fan of these guys? Oh, um, absolutely. I've been a fan for such a long time, and it's a pleasure. I mean, it, to be back here in Vegas on the stage would be wonderful. I think we're ready to hear your verdict. Mr. Penn and Mr. Teller, what do you have to say? Okay. I want to say right up front, I hate you. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. There is a bias here. I hated the way you looked. I hated the way you cleanly handled the deck of cards. I hated that I knew the punchline when you started. I hated that it was clean all the way through. I hated that I should have known it. I hated it from the moment you walked out. I tell you, when I saw him sitting there with his beady little eyes, I wanted you as dead as a hammer. I feel the love. Thank you. Right there. No, you don't feel any love. You feel nothing but hate. <laughs> I knew you were going to fool me for the moment I saw you sitting there, and yes, you did, but who cares? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, it's not. No, it's not. What? What's happening? <laughs> And he looked at it and he thought about it 
<laughs> oh, that's so great. <laughs> that's actually so funny, man. Oh, I love it. <laughs> great. So what a great act, <laughs> I actually loved it. Um, I will link the original video down in the description if you want to check that out, uh, feel free. Also feel free to subscribe to this channel and leave a like if you want to uh, see some tutorials on magic or if you want some building time how to do some magic gimmicks yourself. Uh, just make sure to check out one of my other videos and I will see you 